Opinions expressed in the following program are not necessarily those of Shaw Cable Systems or of the station. Through our access policy, we provide the opportunity for community groups and individuals to express their points of view. Hi, I'm Zach Jeffries and welcome to Saskatoon In Focus, the program where we talk to people in and behind the headlines who make Saskatoon the great city that it is today. Today we're talking with Jay Parmar and Jay is a local business person and all around good guy and it's a great pleasure to have you on the program, Jay. Uh, thanks for having me. So, you know, we've talked with people in this program who might be politicians or, you know, leading some nonprofit organization. You don't, don't quite fit the mold of the people that we've had on the program so far, but I really wanted to have a chance to chat with you because of some of the interesting things that you're doing here in Saskatoon. So, first of all, you have a, a wide variety of businesses, That's right. none of which are boring. <laughs> so, tell me a little bit about uh, some of those. In particular, I'm interested to hear about uh, Picketick and Centro. Well, oh, sure. I mean, I'll start you off right from the beginning. We have a, a company that's called Boom Music. It's a DJ company that we started uh, some 13 years ago in university and, and we, we started that up just because we thought you know we want to party but we also want to get paid for it. Moving along, um, next thing you know we that went on for a few years and then we started putting on events. Um, it, was, it ended up becoming a little bit successful and, and we had to hire some staff and then uh, to put on these events it was really difficult in order to grab the money and, and manage the events. Um, back then uh, internet was just being introduced and um, you know we were on the cup of something so we decided to start a company called uh, Pick a Ticket. It's an online management uh, event planning company. Um, some people have heard of it but uh, I mean that's has grown since to be an international company. Um, moving along uh, we then needed a place to house our company so we we decided that we'd buy a section of our, our vibrant downtown in the Old Bay, uh, an, an office lounge. Um, so we, we, each business has helped grow to another business and then we have one side business which is Algon which is commi commissions gas stations and, and, and decommissions gas stations um, and, and, and we're proud of all those companies. So I think the one thing that actually is really interesting is is when you talk about some of those businesses and how they tie into each other, but also you mentioned our downtown and you mentioned Saskatoon. Uh, you're a guy who's grown up in Saskatoon. Uh, you went to university here mm -hmm. and you were graduating university right at that time when at the late 90s when everyone was leaving, when that was the problem, youth leaving Saskatoon and you chose to stay. Uh, mm -hmm. What was it about Saskatoon or Saskatchewan that other than it being your home province mm -hmm. that you were interested in in making your life here and, and mm -hmm. making uh, your businesses here? Well, it, it's very simple and it's very easy to talk about. Um, number one, it's the people. I mean, Saskatoon as, as, as a city is a great city. We have our pros and our cons, but the people, you can't beat the people that, there, that are here. And, and, and my brother, who's my business partner, uh, Depeche, I mean, we, we talk about this all the time. He's an MBA grad, university grad. I mean, he can leave and he's very hireable outside of Saskatchewan and probably can make more money. Um, how, uh, however, we have this discussion. I mean, if we had one week left to live, where would we spend it? And, and it is our family and our friends. Um, and, and, and that's why Saskatoon is really important to us, and that's why we chose to stay here. You're right, in 99, uh, that was the time. It was a big exodus into the Alberta market. You, you, you heard the teal, uh, wheels spinning. Um, it just so happens to change that, you know, being in the right place at the right time. Saskatchewan is, is, is the world's economy, is the place where you want to be right now. So that, that has become real fortunate for us. And, um, it, you know, it's really helped us out and, 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 and helped us grow our companies. So you talk about growing the companies. Mm -hmm. uh, Picatick is something I did want to dive into a bit more. Sure. That really has been one of those great Saskatoon success stories. It's something now that it started here, it was common to see events uh, use that payment, uh, online payment and, and ticketing process, mm -hmm. but now we find that 
all over Canada, and apparently you are just now breaking into the U.S. market. Well, that, that's right. I mean, let, let me break this down for you, and this is why I love Saskatoon and Saskatchewan, is when we're starting to pick a tick, it's an online ticketing company. Now, early adopters for online transaction companies, online anything online, it's difficult to find. To have people who would take us on and be our first clients, well, they'd have to have that relationship and that trust. We couldn't find anyone outside of within our, you know, within other than Saskatoon because we had that relationship there. So we're very loyal to the people that are here. And, and finally, over a few couple of years, I mean, with the growth and with that foundation that the Saskatoon people have allowed us, we've grown to outside of Saskatoon um, into the surrounding prairie provinces uh, down to the East Coast. And then you're right, we have gone to the U.S. markets. We're in dual currencies. Uh, we do the U.S. currency and the Canadian currency. And, you know, and tomorrow we're launching our, our brand new app that helps uh, and lets promoters use their devices to uh, zap people in. Yeah, we, we've branded it Zap and Go. And then, like you said, you went from t Pick a Tick and then Centro, and I wanted to, like yeah. I said at the beginning, touch on that a little bit too. Yeah. I had a chance to uh, join you at your opening last fall, yeah. and it really was, it's a unique concept where you've got a lot of collaboration and there mm -hmm. seems to be, uh, it seems to be a gathering place so what led to that and, and how are you seeing that change uh, downtown Saskatoon for the better? Well, I mean, what, what we want to do is, I mean, for the, there's a big exodus of young people that we educate are in our university, in University of Saskatchewan. And if you see a lot of people who are, you know, in that university realm, what they want is lifestyle. When you go to larger city centers like Vancouver or Yale Town or Toronto, there is that urbanization of lifestyle. Um, there is that buzz. And one of the things that is important to me is to have that as well. So with the with the Second Avenue lofts um, and that loft lifestyle, that became a little bit more interesting to sort of the younger demographics or myself. And, and then having that, that Google-esque office where it's more about intellectual properties, it's not that big desk corner office anymore, it's that open concept, leather couches, Java Center, um, an opportunity for people to inter engage, um, like my, minds to share. So my brother and I, we decided that, you know, we couldn't find anything like that, so we decided to build it. And we decided to build it and, in, and encourage other people to join us. So what we've done is we've opened up different offices inside, it's called Central Office Lounge. Um, and, and, and lease it out or rent it out to different people. And we brought in new people, which, you know, was a risk at the beginning, but it has worked out really well. And I, I'm assuming are, you, you guys are basically right full at the office lounge well, there we, right now? We are, we are, we are completely full. However, we're looking to expand. I mean, there's been a lot of demand um, and there's been a lot of inquiries. We haven't done a lot of advertising for it. Any other people have come to us. Um, you know, we, we will be expanding a little bit, but, uh, you know, who knows? There might be a, a, a big, larger one coming up in the, in the near future. So I also wanted to chat with you, not just because of the business success and mm -hmm. some of the interesting things you've done with that, but also because you have some other community experience here in Saskatoon mm -hmm. that really gives you an interesting perspective on things. You're a mm -hmm. member of the Downtown Partnership Board. That's right. And you were telling me that you recently were at an international downtown conference mm -hmm. in Chicago. Mm -hmm. and. So what, from that perspective of seeing other places, seeing downtowns, being involved in Saskatoons, what is it that makes our downtown unique and what are some of the things you're excited to see happen in the next five years? Because we do have work to do down there. Uh, you know, first of all, we have such a dynamic downtown. I mean, most people don't realize this. A lot of downtowns hollow out at, in the evening, so it's a ghost town. Even in our province, other large cities, of which I will remain nameless, they hollow out during the evening time. Our downtown generally ends up being busy you know, all the way. So we have a good nightlife, we have a good business core life. Um, it's, it's a vibrant downtown. Now, what's happening is, is that you're finding that there's more people living downtown. There's high, more high-end condos. There's the are the lofts. There's the South Downtown. There's the art gallery. There is a lot of good things happening downtown. And, and how do I know? It's because when people complain about parking, that's how I know. That's, a, that's the greatest thing for, for me to hear is because 
nobody wants a downtown where there is it's very easy to get parking now the days of of, of parking right in front of the business of where you're going are over which is a great thing um, you and I, I am guilty for this I used to go and drive around the block three four times to try and park right in front of it now I have to we're walk. all guilty of yeah that. I mean it's just the mentality and the ideology of, of our small town living but we're not that small anymore I mean we we, we get uh, large concerts and and we have the handshake community but um, those those are great problems to have in our downtown. We want to see more young people from our from our universities, the the people that we educate, stay down here. We want to see them have that lifestyle that they want. I mean, when 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 people when people and the young people stay downtown, um, there's happy coincidences that happen. When there's meeting of minds, um, opportunities arise through that. Um, and 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 if my brother and I decide that we weren't going to stay, we went to build. Um, our office lounge, or or we maybe would have started Picatick in another larger city or another another city completely. Um, but with that, we've we've employed people here. We we have our servers here. We have um, we we've been able to volunteer in our community here. And and I think we're going to see a lot more of that, in which which really puts a smile on my face. Puts a smile on my face too, because I I think that there's a lot of excitement that is in Saskatoon right now, but also is upcoming. I mean, this is a city that uh, is going places, and I'm glad that you're a part of it, and I thank you for coming on the program, Jay, and joining us and providing your, uh, your interesting experience and your perspective on uh, where things are going in, in our city. Uh, thanks for having me. You're doing a wonderful job yourself. Thanks so much. I'm Zach Jeffries, and that's all we have for Saskatoon In Focus. Thanks for joining us. Please make sure you connect with us online on Twitter, on Facebook, our website, saskatooninfocus.ca, and email saskatooninfocus at gmail.com. When we work together, we can make Saskatoon the best city in the world. The opinions expressed on the program you have just watched are not necessarily those of Shaw Cable Systems or of this station. Through our access policy, we provide the opportunity for community groups and individuals to express their points of view. 